Hello guys, welcome, 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 welcome back to my ASMR channel Today I am going to speak soft spoken because there is literally no reason because I want to <laughs> um, But yeah, I have a little Q&A for you guys I didn't get a lot of questions, um, but I waited for uh, about two weeks or something. Um, so I just, I don't know, I wrote something down and I'm just going to answer them. So let's get right into it because I don't have much to say. I just wanted to tell you guys my exams are over. Everything went fine. Um, I had pretty good grades. I mean, it was pretty good. Um, so, I will be posting more now. But I don't know, something is wrong with my mic. I don't know what is happening with my mic, but it isn't picking up sounds like it should be. Normally, this would be like much more... I know it would pick much more sound, like what is this? You can hear, I mean, it does something, but I don't know. I don't know, but we're, we're just going to do it like this. Um, so the first question was, what are my real life hobbies and things I like to do before the coronavirus, so before the world shut down? Um, my real life hobbies, that is actually a very tough one because... I actually don't really have a lot of hobbies, like for real, I don't really have a lot of hobbies. I like to make ASMR, <laughs> you guys are my hobby. Um, I used to dance, but not anymore, I don't know why, but I just like met some new friends and everything kind of changed um, for me, so that's why I stopped dancing. Um, and yeah, for the rest, I mean, I go to school. I have to go to work. I need to work in two hours. I'm not in the mood, but yeah, just do it. Think about the money. But uh, yeah, I don't know. Just working is not really a hobby, but that's just the only thing that I do now. But before um, the coronavirus, things I like to do, I really liked to go out with friends. I literally went out so many times, like... I think every day I went out with my friends um, and just go to parties, you know, like regular stuff. But um, I didn't really have a life before I met my friends. I always watched Netflix and that was kind of it. So, you know, in 2019, my life really changed. I started to get to know boys and stuff like that and now I'm in a relationship of almost two years but yeah that's kind of it I don't really like anything else I mean Netflix is a passion of mine um, but besides that nothing really um, then the next one is what is my zodiac sign my zodiac sign is Aquarius I think it's in English Aquarius um, yeah, uh, my birthday is in January, so it's coming up. And then I'm turning 17. And yeah, normally on my birthday, I would get a tattoo, um, like right here. And it would be the letter T from like my dog's name. All of my dogs have the same name or had the same name because they died. Um, and it all started with, with a T. So that's why I kind of want to remember them and yeah, I don't know that I just love them so much and it really hurt me when they died. So that's kind of something to remember them. Also, I'm getting a new dog in January. <laughs> oh my God. And he's also getting the same name. So, you know, everything is kind of remembering and honoring each other. So I think it's very cute. Um, but yeah, now, because of the coronavirus, I'll probably don't get a tattoo in January. Everyone has to wait now. I mean, 
It is true, the world is shut down. We have nothing to look forward to, at least I don't. Um, but yeah. Um, then my favorite triggers. What are my favorite triggers? That's a good question. I don't really... I don't know. I mean, I like the plucking. I like the pluck, 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 pluck. I really like that trigger. Um, maybe something to relax, like with some incense sticks, uh, candles, anything like that, just to relax, like breathing. Also, with, like the face touching. I also watched a lot of medical ASMR, but I also stopped that. I don't know why, but as I said, I watched too many videos, you know, so... It kind of turns out boring for me. So what inspired me to make my ASMR channel? Well, I watched a lot of ASMR before I started my channel. I was watching ASMR for about two years, I think. Um, and I just really liked it. And I liked the idea of people getting relaxed by your videos and you helping them sleeping and like helping them with their anxiety and stuff like that and stress so i really wanted to help some people out and i also really liked making asmr i mean it really was a passion of mine i, I liked doing stuff and i still like it and i think i my channel is now i don't know over one year old this is the first thing that i actually like kept doing because I am like that person who starts something but never finishes it. So I'm shocked that I am actually still here. <laughs> but I just really love this and I still love this. Um, so that kind of inspired me, I guess. It's not really a person that inspired me. But it's more like the idea about ASMR that really like caught my eye. Um, let me see. Why did I choose the name ASMR Bubble? Actually, I always have such hard times choosing my names on my Instagram, Facebook, whatever, everywhere. I can't make a decision and then I'll choose one and I actually hate it after a week or something. So I really wanted this to be something that I really liked myself. Um... And I don't know, I definitely wanted something with ASMR in it. And I didn't want ASMR Yenta, because Yenta is my real name. I don't know, it sounded like... Blah, I, I just really don't like it. Um, and I just wanted something that I can name you guys. So I was thinking about then like Bubble. And I think it's a very cute name for my like fans or like watchers, like my bubbles, bubbles. I don't know. I think it's just a very cute name. So it doesn't really have a meaning. It's just something that I really liked myself and that I kind of named you guys. I'm sorry about that. That I kind of named you guys. So I really, that's kind of the reason why I called my channel ASMR, ASMR Bubble. Um, and then again, kind of the same name, um, the meaning of ASMR bubble, it doesn't really have a meaning, but just that it's cute, I guess. Um, then my age, I'm 16 years old. And as I said, I don't know, somewhere beginning this video, um, I'm turning 17 in about one month, no, a little bit over one month. Um. And actually, I really I hate being 16. I know that people are like, ah, oh, it's the best age and you don't have to worry about anything. And that is right. That is correct. But what do we have now? I mean, look at us now. We are 16. We are supposed to go partying, supposed to hang out with friends, don't have stress. But the only thing that we have is go to school, sleep, go to school again, sleep again. That's it. It's not a fun age at this moment. I mean, if I were 13, 14, it's still not fun that is the coronavirus, but it's different because they are not really going out yet and stuff like that. And this is really our moment. This is the moment that we need to enjoy our childhood. 
and that's something we can do so that phone is really annoying it's not that i don't like 16 but i wish i would be just like a little bit younger at this moment just because everything needs to start then for you and now i am in the middle of something that i can do so what do i study I don't know what it is in English, I'm not gonna lie, I truly don't know what it is in English, but I think it's... In Dutch we call it Gezondheid en Welzijnswetenschappen. But now, in English, maybe health and... What is like, social... Social science or something. <laughs> um, but no, I actually love this. Um, I was very scared that it was going to be too difficult for me, but actually it's turning out pretty great. I made a lot of new friends because I also switch, switched schools, so I went to another school this year, so everything was new. Um, I also moved to another house, so I left everything behind. And it was stressful to say the least it was very stressful but i'm happy now so it is fine then my favorite asm artist i don't really know um i am in love with grace's asmr she is so sweet she's still a little bit young i don't know i think she's 15 or 14 something like that but she makes the best ASMR. I love it. Her channel has grown so much in like one month. It was crazy, guys. It was crazy. But she is an amazing ASMR artist. She is so sweet. She even did a video with her parents. Like, how amazing is that? <laughs> I couldn't, like, get my parents to do this. I am sure that they wouldn't do this. Um, but yeah, I think Grace's ASMR... And for the rest, I don't know. I watch a lot of other ASM artists. I just can't get the name. And then my favorite, um, like just artists, like music artists. But I am in love with Michael Jackson. Like for real, guys, every single song is amazing. He's such a kind person. And I know that there are going things around that he was a child abuser and that he molested children but like you guys don't know him and i i don't know him so it's so easy for people to to judge other people um i think he was a very kind person i watched literally every interview of him every song i listened and he was a complicated man i'm not gonna lie he had a lot of stuff going on in his life but he literally explains in an interview um, that he opened like Neverland, his kind of like, what is it, park-ish thing, um, because he didn't have a childhood, he didn't have that. And, they, and he just wanted to give other people who also don't have a childhood with like diseases or a disability or something like that, also to give them a childhood. And I think it's so beautiful and that people like instantly judge him and say that he's a child molester. I don't know. I think it's horrible. He just loves children and he says it a thousand times. He would never do anything sexual with a kid. And he said it in one of his interviews that like when he sees a kid, he sees the face of God. And I think it's just beautiful that you care so much about a kid and i know it sounds maybe like weird if he lets children sleep in his bed but like if you have a good bond with someone i don't know i just can't believe it that he was a child abuser or like that he molested children i just don't believe it so that was the first one and the second one is dua lipa it's total different um, artist, but I actually just like her songs. It's just like a little bit vibing. I don't know a lot about Dua Lipa. I am more obsessed with like Michael Jackson. I know everything about him. But Dua Lipa, I don't know. I have never watched an interview or, or stuff like that. 
um, but I just like her songs. I can really vibe to it and dance, and they just make me happy. And Michael Jackson is more a mood when I am like sad or when I'm overthinking because I am that person who overthinks literally everything and then gets stressed out for no reason. Hi, that's me. Um, but yeah, you guys didn't ask anything else, so I'm going to leave it here. If you if you want another Q&A, just comment down below. I really want to answer your questions, guys. So if you want to ask me anything, comment it. I mean, I will definitely do it. Um, I think I answered every single question. So I think we're done. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that you got to know a little bit more about me. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. And hopefully I'll see you, you, you in one of my next videos. Goodbye, guys.